is the sixth part of motorbike trip started in Bangkok and riding on the loop to Chantaburi. Today we will talk about ancient waterfront community in the heart of eastern Thailand. The traditional community dates back to King Narai, the great reign of Ayutthaya Kingdom, more than 300 years, regarded as the first community of Chantaburi. The ancestors of this community people are three ethnic groups consist Thai, Chinese and Vietnamese. The Thais were originally into farming and agriculture, while the Chinese and Vietnamese who passed by this area were traders and merchants. Understanding the interests and requirements of the traders, the locals started trading in peppers, wildlife hides, scented woods and majorly in rubber and timber. Thus, Chantaburi turned into a major trading and transportation hub, with many Chinese and Vietnamese traders settling here and living in harmony along with the locals. At present, it's another cultural attraction of Chantaburi. There are many old buildings in Sino-Portuguese and gingerbread styles, lined up in one kilometer long pedestrian street along the Chantaburi River. Today, there are a lot of coffee shops and snack bars being set up along the main street of Chantaburi waterfront community, making it one of the emerging tourist attractions in the region. Sweet Moon is one of the best ones with a good coffee and great cakes. You will also find all the residents of the community sitting idly in front of their ancestral homes, reminiscing about days gone by. They are the best people to have a chat with if you want to know the history of the place through the authentic voice. The built-in Ban Luan Rajamaitri is UNESCO award-winning project. Luan Rajamaitri was a Thai aristocrat, businessman and philanthropist during the King Rama V period, credited with importing Eastern Thailand's first rubber trees and funding the educations of young men and women eager to learn. Presently, his house has been renovated to be a historic inn on the second floor and a museum on the ground floor offering for the public the 19th century trade documents and old photos of the house and Luan Rajamaitri with his family.
the small motorbike repair shop to do some maintenance of the motorbike, to change the oil and to check the tires for the first time since riding from Bangkok. The Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception is a cathedral, visible from most of the city, was formally inaugurated in 1909, is one of the largest Catholic churches in Thailand. It was constructed in Gothic style by French troops, occupied this area for 10 years and left it unfinished when leaving Chantaburi in 1904. Just few hundred meters away, there is a white pylon, a royal monastery from Ayutthaya period. Served as a Buddhist school for monks for more than 100 years, with the main attraction, the large golden reclining Buddha. If you want to escape from hustle and bustle of the city without leaving it, there is a beautiful peaceful park right in the middle of Chantaburi. There is a lot of images of rabbit popping up all over the city. Chantaburi translates as a moon city, and in Thai folklore, rabbit or hare is closely associated with the moon, and as such, the animal has become a symbol of Chantaburi. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like and hit notification bell button, not to miss any further updates on traveling in Thailand and Asia.